four, three, two, one. Yeah, yo, it's your boy, Fried Chicken. Domination on hard hat. Um, in the mercenary playlist. And I was using the AK-47 with the heartbeat sensor now. Um, you haven't seen me use the heartbeat sensor in any of my videos just because it's, um, it's an attachment that I don't think you can benefit from too much. Or at least I thought that before I played this game. So, um, With this domination game, I find it a little bit easier to hold the other team at B. If you have A and C, um, they will continue to spawn at the back of the map almost right on top of B, which gives you a little bit easier uh, way to spawn trap them or spawn lock them at that point. And I pick up the double over there, which is always nice to get the penetration double. So uh, I want to talk about a couple different things. I did a video before called Reducing the Lag in MW3 by basically disabling the theater mode. And it seems like, you know, with all the patches that have come out for MW3, which is, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for the fact that they're bringing out, like, these patches. It seems like with all those patches, uh, the theater mode issue is fixed. You know, there's no more lag in the theater mode than it is when you enable it and, or disable it. So there, there's really no difference. And right here you can tell I'm using the theater mode because it, at certain points you'll see the character that I'm using twitch. Um... Now, kind of to speak on the heartbeat sensor, the thing I like the most about the heartbeat sensor is the fact that it will beep if there's an enemy nearby in front of you. So it's not the whole point of looking at the heartbeat sensor and trying to decipher the location of the enemy because really you can be fooled by the heartbeat sensor. You might see a dot on it and the enemy is either closer or further away then that uh, dot leads on. So I try not to look at it as much. I try to just listen for the sound of it. And right here, there was nobody on the A side. So I, instead of going toward the middle, toward B or C, I decided to stick around and kind of deter the enemy from taking A. Um, just kind of defending the flag here. It's something that's really standard, but it's something that not a lot of people do, you know, I guess people, some people feel like, hey, I'm by myself, I need to, you know, go over by my team, but just killing those two or three enemies will hold that team back and give my team a little bit more time to kind of set up and defend the points that we already have. So it is going to be a lot easier to defend points than it is to cap. So you, at, at any chance you get, you do want to defend those points. Um, so back to the lag video the first one I posted a lot of people thought I was camping when I t said play at your own pace and right here I'm gonna get off topic for a second this is what happens when you have them at B so I flash the B flag and I'm able to get a three man kill cam and cap B for extra points um, so that's kinda nice having that little uh, that little advantage knowing with it where the enemy is going to spawn so they're either going to spawn it seems like uh to the right and left the b and sometimes if you push up far enough they're going to spawn right on that bulldozer um so i come over here to kind of corner them in at a and i get into a little bit of trouble right here as i'm uh, shooting over that cover so i switch right out to my secondary and i pre-fire that corner and the MP9 secondary, I was using the holographic sight on it just to kind of rank it up more. But the MP9 secondary is like, it's, it's amazing. Like I said, it's kind of like a, a mini ACR. So I pick up this G36C and I get the double. Now one thing that helped me get that double is the fact that I do have the specialist bonus. And once you get the eight kills, once you string those kills together, because that's what you want to do with specialists, obviously, um, you pretty much glide around the map. You can move around the map so smoothly without being hurt, uh, as well as having marksmen and steady aim. So it's just a beautiful thing, and it, it makes you super confident. But uh, back to what I was saying, you know, playing at your own pace, a lot of people wrote in the comments 
There's over 30 something comments on that video. If you want to go check it out, uh, just look for it. It's called Reducing the Lag in MW3. A lot of people thought I was camping when I said play at your own pace. And that was a beautiful night. That guy tried to flank around because I have an unsilenced weapon, so he thought I was coming around the other side. But, um, yeah, a lot of people thought I was camping. And really what I was trying to do is play to my strengths, play to the map's layout, and also play to my class. Uh, my team needed support on that game. So instead of going out and just running out to the open, I decided to stay in a high traffic area and support my team. Now with the specialist, I find it that if you, um, not necessarily rush around, but if you move around a little bit more, then that will help out. Uh, that will help you get your kill streaks a little bit better. Because as you start gaining perks, your rushing game becomes uh, definitely more deadly with the specialist bonus. So, uh, one thing I do want to talk about as well is the AK-47. Um, is I don't like it as a long-range rifle, but at medium range, the AK-47 is almost unbeatable at medium range. So, close range, it's okay if you have steady aim on, but medium range, the AK-47 almost cannot be dominated by any other weapon. Um, I think even submachine guns have less stopping power than the AK-47 at that medium range. So that's the range right there that I'm talking about. So you guys gotta try it out. Um, you definitely have to use it with kick, and that was the proficiency that I started off with it. And that guy spawned right behind me. Luckily the advanced UAV was up and I was able to notice that and uh, turn around, but my, uh, my buddy got the kill. So I come up here and I know that they have C. So I just kind of use that to my advantage, the fact that they have C. And, you know, instead of taking it and trying to win the game a little faster, I just go ahead and, you know, kill whore a little bit on, on C. Now, if you guys are interested in what kind of classes I'm using, uh, I think I'm second or third prestige. Not quite sure because the only reason I prestige is to get the extra class, which now I have eight classes. And my classes, everything is set on my classes except for the weapons. I can change those back and forth. But I pretty much keep all the perks the same. I have two specialist classes. And if you all are more interested in my classes and want me to do like a video where I'm showing what kind of setup I have, for like my anti-air class, my rush class, my objective class, um, my class where I just kill whore with an assault rifle, then put it in the comments if you want to see those. And I'll kind of explain why I have my classes set up that way as well. I'm thinking about doing it on my fried chicken channel that I'm going to come out with soon. But I mean, if I get enough feedback, I will put it up on the Gamer's Remorse channel. And I turn this corner, and it's like jackpot. There's three enemies right there. Um, but the position that I was in, even though I had the higher ground, it, the cover that I was behind was easy for them to shoot through, so I quickly changed position. Now, this game is coming toward an end, so if you have any any input on you know what theater mode does for the lag and if, if you think I'm right or wrong, then let me know. Put that down in the comments. Also, let me know if you want to see that class setup video. Uh, definitely interested in doing that. But I go 34 and 7. I get two specialist bonuses this game. And that's about it. Peace out.